Gilda Etifano, and welcome to the beach laden forests of the Flora Valley here in Kahurangi National Park, at the far north of Te Waipounamu, the South Island of New Zealand. It's Sunday morning, the sun is shining, so I'm off for an adventure. I was dreaming big for this adventure. I left with the intentions of hiking from Tasman into the West Coast region, my favourite South Island region. But first up, there was the distraction of all the weird and wonderful places to sleep in the Flora Valley. Not today, Flora Hut. Maybe some other day. Oh, couldn't even tell you what track we're on. We're on a track. It's a four wheel drive track. Out for a hike today. An overnight adventure. And I don't even know where I'm gonna spend the night. That's how exciting today is. Could be Salisbury Lodge, could be Balloon Hut. Could be Katamea Bend Hut, that's the aim. If I can make Katamea Bend Hut, which admittedly I wasn't as early setting off as, as I hoped but there is still a chance I can make Kadamea Bend Hut all those hours away. I think it's three hours to Salisbury Lodge and then potentially up to five from there to Kadamea Bend. So against the clock, but I have a mission. Uh, one of the backcountry old favourites, Swing Bridge. Going to attempt it with no hands. Ah, ah, ah. That's not too bad. No, nope, this is. It falls. <laughs> We're on the home straight now. Coming out the other side. That's the old uh, pack grabber. Yeah? The whole purpose of that is to grab the top of your pack and send you flying onto your backside. Didn't fall for it though, did I? Up this little sidetrack. It's one of the neatest things in this part of the forest. It's called Upper Gridiron Hut, but it's no ordinary hut. Oh yeah, neat and tidy, normal little hut, window, table there, there's the intentions book. Hang on, the heck is that? <laughs> That's the rock from outside, yeah? As the roof. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I'll sleep under that massive boulder for the night. This here is the lower gridiron shelter. Another boulder being used as a roof for that double bed there. But wait, there's more. Up a mezzanine floor as well. Rock action going on as the roof. There's a fire pit there as well. That's the lower gridiron shelter. Crazy place to spend the night. Here we are, junction. Flora car park, eight kilometers, two hours, 30 minutes. What have I got? Ooh, 145, I'm 45 ahead of that. 
Let's go, Salisbury Lodge. Having gained 45 minutes on the estimated walking time, I left the junction confident I might reach the hut at Cadamere Bend. And it might not be too long after dark. You can definitely notice the change in the track after the junction. Climbing steadily up the Balloon Creek Valley. Is it the Balloon Valley? Let's call it the Balloon Valley. Why not? Yeah, way more of a tramping track now as well. Some overgrown bush, streams to negotiate, that run down the path. Look at that, purple pouch. Hello. Purple pouch fungus. Don't think it's a mushroom. I have said to myself, no stopping until I reach the next accommodation feature, which is a neat little rock shelter up the valley here. Man, I'm thirsty. That was a silly thing to agree with myself, wasn't it? Because now I've got water just here in my pack, but I'm not allowed it until we get to the, to the shelter. Mm. See if I can drink some water from the air. It's quite humid out here. No, that doesn't work. I just checked the map because I'm starting to think that the rock shelter was a long way away. And for a moment I did think it was a long way away, but then it just turned out I couldn't read the map. I was looking at the, the hut I'm heading to actually. Oh, g'day, South Island Robin, kia ora. Anyway, good news is <laughs> the rock shelter bivvy is right here. Oh, so it's chill time. Stoked to have a drink of water. There's also a beautiful waterfall up there. So just went and refilled the grail filter so I can have a drink of that. And classic tramping meal for me, refilled peanut butter, usually from a glass container. Don't like buying the plastic ones, but the plastic ones are good, nice and light for tramping, and sandwiches. And there's some chocolate there for later too. No mission would be complete without it, right? Hello. What are you doing, Robin? You good? Okay, bye. Can you hear that? Sounds like, yeah, yeah. It sounds like the edge of the forest is approaching. It also looks like the edge of the forest is approaching. Just had a look at the map. I was way wrong, still in the forest. Just past the 12 kilometer mark. And just like that forest ends and the grasses begin. You see that savannah coloured tussock through there? It's just the end of the forest, just like that. Trees go, had enough. Grasses go, oh hey. The fun gaffs of the Flora Valley had been left behind. The adventure was entering a new phase. The trees were swapped out for a tussock coated plateau known as Salisbury's Open. Could I get across that and drop into the Leslie Valley before nightfall? We continue in part two. <laughs>